Hey, Tom. Hey, Brian. How's it going? Good, how are you? Um, it's going great. You got 12 days left, though. How's it going for you? Uh, a little stressed. Yeah. Bunch of things happening. Seriously, what phase are you in? Uh, well, we're in multiple phases right now. We have hot water tank coming tomorrow for our solar system. We have our, our PV installed up on the roof. Our inverters are in. Okay. Uh, we're waiting for some parts to come in, some DC breakers, and then we'll be able to fire up our PV system and be the actual dry our own power. So you're almost done. You get a little bit more to do. Is it? What's this get right here for siding? That's going to end up with a hardy panel side. Same yeah, hardy plank side. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Twelve yeah. days and counting. Should we uh, take a look inside? Sure. Come on. Great. So last time I was here, you were just starting the solar panels. How's that going? Well, the panels are all on the roof. They are. Uh, they're ready to fire up. We're waiting for some breakers to come in, some special DC breakers so we can cut that power off. We right. A ton of power coming out that roof. We get 600, 600 volts. 600 volts. 9,000 watts of power. You get power? Are we close there? We're close. We're waiting for some fuses. As uh, soon as they come in, we'll be powering up all our own, our own juice coming in the house. So That's my need favorite door house. right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is different. What do you think? Love the, love the ceiling. I didn't know I didn't know you were doing that. Bamboo. Is that, is that what it is? That's bamboo. So bamboo the, flooring on the ceiling. Bamboo flooring on the ceiling. I don't know if I told you about how this this is actually getting uh, shipped down as a module right here. Right. This roof is actually getting hinged down for transportation. Yeah. Pulling out the gables, we're pulling out those upper walls right up here where the windows are. Yeah. And then we're, we got some giant hinges we're getting ready to install here. It's going to actually drop this roof down and secure it to the top for transportation. So one thing on the, on moving, you've got a lot of work that you 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 can't do here, like you said, the moldings and all that. What percentage are you doing down there when you get there? I'm hoping for about 15 to 20 percent of the stuff left to go. So you still got when you get there, you still gotta go at it and do you stay in the home? Do you stay nearby? How's it all work? Seems like a madhouse when you get down there. You can't sleep in the house. Can't. But you get 24 hours a day for nine days straight to get this thing done. Well, I saw Jim floating around and I'm gonna grab him and take a look at the solar panels and let him give me the whole 411 on that electrical panel that I know nothing about. So. Good enough. Thanks, Thanks Brian. We'll see you in a couple work. weeks. Yep. So I grabbed Jim for a little while. Jim's going to give me the second grade education on solar energy, I think. I saw the panels going on. What, what do they do from here? We have uh, 40 Sun Power 215 watt solar panels, and they're wired in four strings of 10 each. Okay. And each one of those produces uh, just under 500 volts per string. And uh, we bring those four strings around into a combiner box at the back of the house. And so we run them all in series to get the most efficient uh, overall power. There's um, about $45,000 worth of panels on the roof. Okay. These panels uh, total will produce almost 9,000 watts of peak power, which is not attainable most of the time. That's on a perfectly clear, sunny day at about you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon right. with, with no clouds. And what's a typical house use? A typical house uh, would probably use somewhere in the 30 to 40 kilowatt hours a okay. day. And of course, that's assuming that you don't have an electric heating system, that you, you still have some other system for heating, or we have a solar heating system here as well. We store all the excess in batteries, where if we were grid tied, we'd only be able to uh, use the power during the period when the sun was out. Right. And we can store up to five days worth of energy for a, a period, assuming we had no sun for five days. Okay, so sun hits these, where are we going next? We'll go inside and we'll show you the inverters now of where the power gets converted to AC and then actually back to DC again, which is a little bit uh, hard I'm to figure out. I'm already confused, so okay. let's just go ahead and see where the AC-DC thing is. All right. What? The power comes down into our main equipment room here. Wait, is this a breaker box, like regular old Yeah, that's, box? that's our main breaker panel, and that's actually a 200 amp panel. Yeah. And this wire here comes from the inverters that we're gonna show you. Uh, that's the power delivered. And all the power from the house is distributed out of this panel with through breakers like this. We're just starting to populate. Them. Regular, everyday breakers. Yep. yep. And uh, then below this, actually, we have another box that has all the current transformers for monitoring all the power we're using. Huh. So let's go and show you where the power goes from the panels. So the power from the panels comes through a combiner box and then that's broken down into two separate circuits. Each one of those comes into two of these inverters and then that goes through and it's down converted to a lower voltage and then converted to alternating current. Why does it switch back and forth? Well, uh, because uh, photocells only produce direct current, okay? But in our homes we deliver everything and use everything as alternating current. 
All right, let's go down and um, take a look at the batteries where this goes okay. back to. I was just Great. curious. Super, thanks. You've completely lost me at this point, but <laughs> let's just go look anyway. All right. So these are the batteries. These are the battery boxes, and there's three of these. One that we're building up on the other side, right. and these two. And each of these boxes holds four of what's called an 8A, 8D battery. These are some of the biggest batteries made, and each battery is 12 volts. So they're lined up in groups of four because we store energy at 48 volts. These are really going to sit right outside the house. Yep, they're going to sit about 15 a, inches off the wall. You can see that end of that tube. Are these just outside of the weatherproof? Uh, well, it? yeah, they're, they're not actually weatherproof, but when they're stacked up, this is all enclosed. Really? Okay, right, hey, Jim, good. thank you. Okay. Thanks, thanks I Frank. appreciate it. You, ex you know what you're talking about. I'm starting to get a little bit of it. I'm really excited <laughs> to see this at the end when the project's completely done and we're all sitting around, the house is all lit up. It's oh, going to be a good time. After the break, it's travel day for the team from MIT. Today's the day you're actually taking this thing apart and we're going. American Builder packs it up in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> 